the original idea came about as I was out sailing and uh, we were heading against a very strong tidal current and we were stuck for quite some time and I figured uh, what if we turn the sailboat upside down we for sure would have enough power in this uh, spinnaker. Aria Borgeson's flash of inspiration resulted in a new device to harness the power of tidal currents. Tidal sails is uh, based on uh, um, underwater sailing where uh, sails are attached to uh, wire ropes and the sails pull the ropes, run wheels and the wheels in turn turn a generator and uh, this produces electricity. This field near Hogerson in Norway is a good spot to test the device. The prototype can get jammed, but the design is evolving. The next version will have taller, narrower sails. There are challenges, uh, but on the other hand, uh, we have lots of challenges uh, on the smaller scale, which uh, w may not be a problem on a larger scale. This local engineering company is building the next demonstrator, which will be at least 100 meters long. It should be in the water and generating electricity by next summer. We can extract power from a much larger area than most of the conventional systems. Most important thing is to be successful. That is all this is about, is to make power at a certain price per kilowatt hour. The tidal sail concept is being explored as part of an EU project. Arya believes the hidden power of tidal currents makes them one of the most promising sources of green energy. One of our sails of one square meter uh, equals uh, 830 square meter wind turbine. So that's the difference in uh, density and power. Talking about 